Good morning, Edison. Good morning, Mr. Henderson. Good morning. Jerry, it's a sweet break Henderson got, wasn't it? Taking over the Chicago branch. Yeah, and the fellow that steps into his job here won't be getting such a tough deal either. Well, Graham's got that nailed down. He's been making love to the old man ever since he found out Henderson was leaving. <laughs> you can't blame a fellow for trying to get ahead, you know. Well, he's beginning to act like the office manager already. I'd like to tell him where to head in. Well, good morning, Bob. How's everything? Just fine. Uh, the old man come in yet? No, I don't think so. Huh? Morning. Oh, hello, Mr. Sears. Uh, when does Henderson leave? Oh, about the first, I should think. I guess you'll be sorry to see him go. Yes, in a way, but we need him more in the Chicago office. Oh, yes. Uh, I understand that young Graham is going to take his place. Some people seem to know more about my business than I do myself. <laughs> I'm not sure whether I'm moving Graham up or not. Hello? I hope it didn't wake you up, honey. We sure put it over last night with that dinner for the boss. Yes, dear. They certainly seem pleased. I do hope you have good news before the day is over. Don't you worry. You're talking to the new office manager right now. Say, that's a honey of a place you've got there. I'm coming up and give it the once-over sometime. Yeah, do that. You remember I told you about the fellow next door and myself building a dam there? Uh-huh. Say, you know, that's been less than a year ago and we've got eight-inch trout there already? No. Yeah. We're going to celebrate Sunday by hooking some of them. You know that... Good morning. What's that you've got there? Why, uh, that's a picture of my child. Here's a picture of my house. Did I hear you say something about a trout pond? Oh, yes, sir. That's, uh, that's back of the house. Mm, very interesting. By the way, Graham, that was a nice dinner we had at your house last night. Mrs. Shears and I were talking about it on the way home. We're glad you enjoyed it, sir. It was a pleasure to have you with us. Boy, I bet the boss is sore this time. Hello? Yes, sir. I'll be right in. Looks like I'm on the carpet for fair. You want to see me, Mr. Sears? Yes. Yeah. I was just thinking about that trout pool of yours. You know, a lot of people make a mistake if they don't know just how to go about it. Those fish of yours can be kept as gaming as the wild variety if you know how to go about it. Well, that was our idea. We could do it. I'll have to come up and see that place of yours someday. Say, we'd be glad to have you. Fisherman, you're having great luck. We've well, got more than enough already. I want to see these fellas in the pan. That's where they're good. Mm -hmm. Hey, Ben, you coming over tonight? Sure. You mean you fish at night? Certainly. See those General Electric floodlights? They turn night into day out here. My dear, why didn't you wake me up? Oh, there's nothing to do, really. And people quarrel with the inconvenience of living so far out. It's really been the most delightful weekend I've had in years. I wouldn't live anywhere else. Of course, there's a difficulty of servants. Not when they come to you through a meter. You know, I've really been mystified with a frail little person like you operating a house of this size without help. Well, I have lots of help. Ah, smells good. Oh, well, my dear, what do you think of your vacation in the Maine woods? Great. Honey, we'll be spruced up as soon as you're ready. Come on, Mr. Sears, let's clean up a little. What do you say, huh? Well... Well, you people have taught us something about living. 
Imagine, my dear, all this right in the city's backyard. Now, if you people entertain yourselves, I'll have everything straightened out in a very short time. Well, I'm going to be helpful. I insist on helping. Nothing to do, but you can watch if you like. All right. Let's go sit in the front room. You watch me and see how easy it is. It certainly is a wonderful time and labor saver. It washes, rinses, and polishes the dishes and silverware. Eight dishes at a time. And it's automatic and self-cleaning, too. I guess I'd better scrape these. They have eggs on them. Oh, no, you needn't bother. Dishwasher takes care of that. Well, I'll have to see that with my own eyes. Well, you wait a minute and I'll give you the proof. But you can't wash the pots and pans, too, can you? Surely. The control heat of the automatic range never burns the food in the pan, so the outside is as clean as a dish. Well, it certainly is a marvelous time saver. Yes, isn't it? If I had to wash dishes three times a day for a year, let's see, it would take me um, 48 hour working days to accomplish it. Heavens. <laughs> That's the doorbell. That's General Electric, too. It has lovely tone. Doesn't startle us with a baby. How nice. Well, you certainly were right. That electric dishwasher is really quite remarkable. Now let me dry them for they you. They do that for themselves. Just leave them in the rack and their own heat dries them. You know, when we were first able to afford a servant, my greatest happiness was that I'd have no more dishes to wash. You know, I almost want to keep house for myself this new way. I think it should be fun. It is fun, lots. Want to come while I get the baby? I love it. Well, that was a great treat. If these folks are as hungry as I am, we ought to go to dinner right away. Well, I've developed a marvelous appetite. Where do we go for dinner? Well, you're having dinner for us at home, aren't you, honey? But won't it be a lot of work? It's late afternoon, you know. Work is done now. More magic. Do you want to see how I do it? Yes. These sliding shells in the General Electric range are wonderful. All the food is accessible. But I don't understand. I didn't see you prepare all these things. When did you? You didn't. I prepared the food last night and put it in the refrigerator. Just what is this clock all about? Oh, that's the control. You put the food in the oven. Then you set one hand for time you want the cooking to start, say, say, four o'clock. And the other hand for time you want it to stop cooking, say, six. And at six o'clock, it automatically shuts off. Well, isn't that wonderful? The times and temperatures are the same as they would be with any other fuel. But the accurate instructions are in the receipt book. Delmonico's never served a better roast and apple pie than that. You know, you're a very lucky young man to have such a good cook nowadays. Anybody can be a good cook with a kitchen like mine. The reason that roast is so good, Mr. Sears, electric cooking conserves the goodness of a meal. Cooks it in its own juices. Martin, I want you to look at these hands. Can you believe they do the entire work of a the house? They don't do the work, they direct the work. Hmm, quite different from the old days. Excuse me, I'm ten the baby. I'll go with you. All right. Well, it's quite an experience coming out here, Kent. You people have actually mastered the art of living. A few years ago, it would have cost three times your income to maintain this establishment. Well, that's the most amusing part of it. You know, we decided to live here because well, we considered ourselves so desperately poor. But it must have cost considerable to install all these appliances. Not as much as it would cost for a maid. You know my salary. Everything we have has come out of the $200 a month. We're saving money besides. Here's the little person that's responsible for it all. Yes, sir, here she goes. You know, two years ago, we nearly lost the baby. And since then, the doctor's been very strict about a diet. That's how we happen to get our electric refrigerator. And since then, we've grown into a going concern just on the money we've saved from using it. What do you mean, saving? Well, we figure we save five cents a meal by preserving the food that we used to throw away. 
That's four dollars and a half a month. Huh. I only shop once a week on bargain days. You know, foods are cheaper certain days. I know I save about four dollars a month that way. Why, I never thought of that. Great name, General Electric. I see you bought a name. Not a product. Yes, we bought General Electric. You see, we had to be sure of what we're getting. Cost much to operate? No. In fact, much less than we used to pay for refrigeration. Mm, and you really are saving money, aren't you? Mm -hmm. But how can you afford to buy all these appliances on the salary you get? Well, you'd be surprised if you knew that it only costs us a few dollars a month on the General Electric payment plan. The refrigerator here is all paid for. Now we're buying the range, the dishwasher, and the same plan. That's fine. I know I could never get along without them. And next we're going to have a complete electrical laundry. It's really astonishing what you people have done here. If I didn't know your income, I'd think it was several times larger than it is. I'm inclined to believe it should be larger. Well, thank you, Mr. Sears. I'm wondering if the intelligent management of your home doesn't indicate a foresight that we need in our business. Come right down to brass tacks. I'd like to talk to you about Henderson's job tomorrow. I certainly would like to see him have that job. I'd give a whole lot to get it. Come on, let's talk it over. I'll show you your room. Thanks. Gosh, honey. What a lucky break, huh? I'm so happy, darling. Aren't we lucky? Quiet. You'll wake them up. Oh, they've been asleep for a long time. Oh, no. no, no, no. Put your foot on that. Shh. What will they think? I just want a sliver of this rose. They'll think you're a burglar. They won't if you keep still. Well, this has been a great fishing trip. I caught a new office manager. 